Today is National Firefighter Day, a time to recognize those who put their lives on the line to save and protect ours, and they do so at risk to their own health. Local 10's medical specialist Christy Kruger looks at the increased risk, risk of heart disease among firefighters in today's HealthCast. Firefighting is recognized as one of the most dangerous professions. The most obvious danger, burn injury from flames. But there's a more insidious on-the-job risk, heart attack. More so than the general population, and that's due to uh, a number of different risk factors that we're exposed to. Overexertion and stress are the key factors that lead to heart attack and stroke among firefighters. You have what's called going from a resting heart rate to an elevated heart rate when you get a call that comes in and that alarm goes off, so you're at a nice resting level we're now, and then all of a sudden you have to jump and do that. And over years and years and years, that takes its effect on you. The most recent study looked at the effects of extreme heat, which increases the risk even more. They found that after exposing these guys to very, very extreme temperatures, 750 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, that not only did they see increased markers of, of, uh, for clotting, but also other indices that were quite disturbing, quite alarming. Cardiologist Dr. Adam Splaver says a surprising finding was that exposure to extreme heat combined with dehydration caused firefighters' blood pressure rates to go down. So the thought process is that if you're requiring more strain and stress not only in the heart muscle to pump blood forward because maybe the, the blood pressure is too low, but also you've revved up all these increased clotting factors, that's a recipe for disaster. In light of the inherent risks, departments like Hollywood Fire Rescue are doing all they can to protect the health of the men and women who put their lives on the line. Coming up with new equipment to wear, identifying the different chemicals that we're exposed to, regular checkups, all those things help uh, stave off those cardiac events. And as expected, sudden cardiac death accounts for a higher proportion of deaths among the older firefighters. In fact, in 2015, almost two-thirds of firefighters over the age of 40 died of a heart attack or other cardiac events. With your HealthCast, I'm Christy Krueger.